I hold in my hands a device that solves a very interesting HDMI problem. Now to explain this problem, I need to give a little bit of background. When you have your smart TV, a lot, very often, this is very common, that people, when they have their smart TV, they will access the various streaming apps, whether it be Netflix, or Hulu, Disney Plus, et cetera, whatever. They access those apps through the actual onboard apps on the TV. That's the point of a smart TV is it comes with those apps already on the TV. All you have to do is just plug it in, fire it up, and you got Netflix right there. You got Disney Plus right there. Super easy. Well, that's all well and good, except that the speakers on TVs are terrible. This is no secret. Everybody knows that there is no such thing as a good speaker on a TV. It just doesn't exist. Now, a lot of people, they just tolerate it and they can't hear the dialogue and, and whatever. They just, they just live with it. But for a lot of people, they decide they don't want to tolerate and live with those terrible TV speakers. And so they add an external speaker or external speakers. And the way you do that is you connect a receiver up to your TV. So you, you're streaming the, the video on your TV, but the audio is being sent from the TV, out the TV, and into the receiver, and then out to your speakers. And the way this is accomplished is through a feature called HDMI eARC. What it does is it works through the HDMI cable that you connect up to the eARC port on the back of your TV, and then the other end of the cable plugs into the eARC port on your receiver. So the audio travels from the TV to the receiver and out to the speakers. This works great. This is a great function. It's a great feature. A lot of people use this. Here is the problem, and here's the challenge. What if you have an older style receiver, still works great, still, still produces excellent sound, you, you like it, there's no need to replace it, but it's an older receiver, and so it doesn't have the eARC functionality. If you try to connect an HDMI cable from the eARC port in your TV down to your receiver, the receiver won't recognize the audio from your TV because it doesn't have that eARC functionality. But that is where this little guy comes in. This is a product from the company O-Ray. It's spelled O-R-E-I. And the, the product's model number is BK-927. I'll put a link to it in the description box. What this product does is it is an HDMI audio extractor. So when you run a, an HDMI cable out of your eARC port in your TV, out of your TV and into this device, it recognizes the audio and it converts it into a signal that your receiver will then recognize. So then you run a cable, an HDMI cable, out the other port on this device and into one of the input ports on your receiver. And then your receiver will recognize that audio source and send it out to your various speakers. So this device, it's very simple. There, there's, there's nothing to it. I mean, it's got a barrel plug port for power. It has the port that you connect up to your TV and it's labeled out TV eARC. So it's pretty simple. You know that you connect it up to the eARC port on your TV. The other port is labeled audio out amp. So you know that is the port that you then connect up to one of the input ports on the back of your receiver. And then the only other port is just an additional input port. So say you have like a Blu-ray player and you wanna be able to play movies on discs from your Blu-ray player to your TV. Well, you would then connect up an HDMI cable from the Blu-ray player into the in source port on this device. And that's it, that's all there is to it. There is a little push button on the front that you can toggle eARC on and off, but 
I really don't see a need for that. You just leave it on all the time. And then it's got some indicator lights that'll light up when, when the various uh, components are connected up to it. Now it does have, in addition to the LED status lights that show like whether the TV is connected, the receiver's connected, eARC is enabled, etc. cetera. Um, it also does have an EDID connecting port. I didn't use that. Um, so I can't speak to how well that functions. Um, but if you do need to use that functionality, it is there. It also has a, what appears to be a USB-C port, uh, and that's labeled service. So I think if, you're, if it ever needs to be upgraded or you need to maybe reflash the, the firmware onto it, uh, you would do so through that service port. Um, again, I didn't have to do that. It just worked for me straight out of the box, um, but that is apparently an option. But that's basically it. I mean, there's, there's really nothing to it, but it solves this challenge of connecting a smart TV with an eARC HDMI port to a receiver, an older style receiver, that does not have eARC. It bridges that gap. And so uh, again, I will link to this in the description box. Uh, I think it's about $75. And I, I tested this. I, I wanted to see it. When, when I first got it, I was a little skeptical. I was like, wait a second, is this thing really going to work? So I, I brought a TV down and hooked it up to my older style Onkyo receiver that I have in my living room that does not have eARC. And I connected it up uh, to the TV with one cable, and then I ran another cable over to uh, one of the input ports on the receiver, fired up the TV, and it works. It, it works. It's seamless. Like, it's super easy. Not only that, but it has the CEC capability as well, which means when I control, when I press the volume button on the TV remote, when I press that up and down to increase the volume or decrease the volume, it changes the volume on the receiver. It controls the receiver. And same thing when I power the TV off with the TV remote, I power that off, boom, it tells the receiver to shut off. And vice versa, when I power the TV on, the receiver comes on. So it's it's slick, it's really cool. I I did not even know these things existed. Um, but this solves a, a kind of a, a challenging situation where you have an older style receiver that doesn't have eARC, but it's still a good receiver, you know, it may even still have Atmos. Like my Onkyo receiver, it's an Atmos capable receiver, but it was made before eARC was really a thing. Um, it would be a shame to throw out a perfectly good receiver just because it doesn't have eARC. Well, now you don't have to. You can just have this little guy and away you go. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.